at 174 pounds. That's Ryan Kinley, the redshirt freshman from Kent State. He's two and four right now. And he'll be going up against a very exciting sophomore from Cleveland State University, Gerald Harris. He was 26 and 12 last year as a freshman, qualified for the NCAAs, and he's 15 and seven this year. I think we're going to see contrasting styles again here. Gerald Harrison, the times I've seen him, is very explosive at times. He'll kind of just be hanging in a close match and just explode for some points. Kinley's kind of a conservative, good, hard-nosed wrestler. He's the second straight St. Ed grad that Ken has put out on the mat and ended up winning, of course, 7-2 at 165. It's interesting, Nemeth was a 140 pounder in high school. He wrestles 165. Kinley was a 171 in high school and he wrestles 174. <laughs> they probably never worked out in high school, but our best friends now. Nice shot by Gerald Harris. He's, nice fight there by Kinley to get out. Kinley, much shorter than Harris, but very powerfully built. These guys are always looking for that inside control and a little level change to a quick shot when you say inside control Dan what do you mean by that so you want to you see them working their hands there you want to be inside so that you're when you get that chance to lower your level you get your hands are inside control and so they don't get caught outside and get underhooked on your shot you see Gerald trying to get work in there again now he's got both He's got control in, and Kinley gets out. There's Kinley, nice little shot. And Harris had the inside control, was able to just push him right off. It's really hard to teach younger kids. They're always over aggressive and shooting from too far out, or then they get caught in underhooks and they can't score. They get frustrated. There's Harris again, trying to work an inside with an underhook. Jacking him up, double underhook. Kinley's got to be careful he doesn't get called for stalling here. And there's the warning on Kinley. Oh, nice shot. Harris still has it inside. This is about you got to think where Cleveland State expects to win. They have an experienced sophomore who has already won 41 college matches against the redshirt freshman who's only won two. I mean, if they're going to win this to me, this is the kind of match they have to win. Right, and they, they should probably expect to win big. And the takedown with 15 seconds to go. And there was the shot that they didn't have real good inside control and little go round for Harris. And the first period will end with Gerald Harris leading 2-0. Third period action now at 174 pounds. Harris with the takedown in the first period and an escape point in the second. Leads 3-0 and now Kinley with the escape makes it 3-1. Right now, riding time not a factor. And a match I think, Dan, that Cleveland State hoped to win and win big is turning out to be a real dark fight. This is definitely the Kent's advantage. Kinley's really hanging in there. He's doing a nice job of tying Harris up. Harris just can't get his shot off. Both boys have been warned once for stalling, so the next warning will cost somebody a point. One of the things I think Harris is having trouble with is getting underneath Kinley. There is, as you say, a substantial height difference. Right, he's trying to get that underhook, and, and Kinley just won't let him get it. And now Kinley's starting to feel more confident. Harris just has to get more motion in his arms. His arms are stagnant. He's just kind of hanging now instead of moving his hands and making his opening a little better on his shot. Look at the power there. He's looking for a big move here. Inside trip, didn't get it. He's got a bear hug. He's got to jack him up and sweep or go for an inside trip. Got to pull him in though. Kinley's got to be careful because he's all... Oh. I 
I think it's a Harris's advantage if he gets in a little flurry here. But again, his hands are, are just stagnant. They're not as moving like the first period. There's a nice shot. This could be the takedown that would really cinch the match if he can make it. Kenley uh, again, stepped right out of it. He's just hanging in there. He never believed that he's a redshirt freshman here. Little collision there. Kimley has got to circle around here. Harris is working those underhooks. Here he goes again. Harris looking for the go around. Not going to be there, and the match is going to end with Harris winning 3-1 and tying up the dual meet at three apiece. But a nice job by both wrestlers, and Ryan Kinley, as you said, Dan, hung in there tough, but there's Gerald Harris, the winner at 174 pounds.